Anime voice actors. The voices behind the beloved anime characters who shaped our childhoods. Since its humble beginnings over a hundred years ago in Japan, anime has become a worldwide sensation reaching almost every corner of the planet. With Americans consuming the most anime outside of China, South Korea, and Taiwan, American anime voice actors are in higher demand than ever before. My name's Anthony Padilla, and today I'm gonna be sitting down with some of these anime voice actors to learn the truth behind these faceless voices we hear every day. How disappointed do these American voice actors feel when fans opt out from hearing their voice in favor of subtitles? Are these voice actors fans of the animes they voice, or is it just another day job? Is being part of an industry with such an intense fandom a blessing or a curse? Hey, Cedric! Hey, what's up, man? Yo, How you doing? Uh, hey, hey, Ryan! Hello! Hey! Griffin! Hey. hey! Thank you so much for coming out and teaching me about the wondrous world of anime voice acting. Happy to be here. What do you consider yourself? Anime voice actor? Or... I consider myself just actor. Just because, actor? Yeah, because I also do on-camera work. Actor who specializes in uh, characters for animation and video games. An actor that can do it all. An actor that can do it all. Oh, do you know how many animes you've voice acted in? I have currently done three. I don't know, 15 or 20? Maybe a handful. Uh, when I first started out, I did shows like One Punch Man and Hunter Hunter. I did a show called Charlotte. And then more recently, I've done two anime films, one called Fireworks and one called Gundam Narrative. Gundam um, Wing! Gundam, yeah, yeah. My first official anime was Hunter Hunter. And uh, the one I'm on now currently on Toonami is The Promised Neverland. A lot of people know me for ReZero. And then a lot of people know me for Hunter Hunter. Can you give me an example of what that voice sounded like? Yes, thank you very much for having me, sir. So oh my that's, god! That's kind of that's just, you just transformed into a different person. <laughs> We're in a field I created, and you won't be able to leave. Not until you touch me. You have eight hours. All right. Yona Basta, Narrative Gundam. Here I go. Oh, that was like. so cool. I felt like I was there. <laughs> He's like, if at 13, I had stayed really sad and emo. You just imagine that G note constantly being played. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> How did you first get into voice acting? I found out about this studio in Los Angeles uh, called Bang Zoom. When they go to Anime Expo, I would go to their booth and say, hi, I'm Cedric, you know, nice to meet you. I would bring over cookies uh, for holidays. And <laughs> So you pestered them until they let you voice act for them? Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> What was your reaction when you found out you landed that first big anime role? I always cry. You cry? <laughs> yeah, I just, everything makes me cry. I cry when I'm happy, I cry when I'm sad. I'm just right. like always about to lose it. I was in my car and I, I think I immediately started screaming. I was like, oh my God! Now it's time for a segment I like to call Subverse! Dub! Oh. <laughs> so sub versus dub is the argument, how is it better to watch anime with subtitles in the original Japanese or with English voices? I guess some people think that, you know, dubbers, like we don't really do our homework or, you know, like we're just copying a performance. I have no preference personally. Um, there are shows that I watch dubbed. There are shows I yeah. watch subbed. Which... I mean, there, there are elitists out sure, there who yeah. say, I only watch it in the original Japanese version with subtitles. Right that English dub. And that's totally fine, you know? I <laughs> mean, that's, that. <laughs> that's an extreme opinion, but it's not any of my concern. I don't think you should compare the two. It's just to broaden the appeal to another audience, because, you know, some people don't want to read subtitles, so this this is for you guys, you know? Does it ever hurt your feelings when, when people say things like, I only watch the sub version, these dub versions are yeah, it does hurt, because um, uh, we really we really do try our best. What are some of the unnecessary noises that they might make you do in an <laughs> anime performance? We have to make so many sounds, because whenever you turn your head or so much as twitch your eye, it's... Uh, what? <laughs> yeah. mm. <laughs> 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 Ooh, that was interesting. That sounded like me. That was like death. That was like you're dying. <laughs> Why is that a thing? <laughs> to emphasize feeling and emotion without saying anything. But do people do that in real life? Maybe they're in certain situations, they would go like, ugh. I mean, I know when I do that, but it's not when they do that. <laughs> do you ever find yourself accidentally doing your anime voices in real life? I was at 7-Eleven last night. <laughs> and we had, just, we had just watched this anime and my, me and my friends were like, all like the male anime protagonists have that like same voice. Oh yeah. Where everything's like right here. Really intense. Wait. 
vitamin water has a blue Slurpee. 50% of the calories. Who would do this? <laughs> and Joyce wants to know what your deepest and highest voice is. My highest would probably be like, oh, like right in here, like very little. The highest voice is probably like this. Oh boy. It's a falsetto voice. I would say this is like a, a little mouse character. I can do sort of like young, like 13 year old characters. Like, I don't know guys, we should we should probably follow the rules and- Oh, that guy does um, not have pubes yet. Not at all. Yeah, low. I don't know. Whoa. How low can you go? I can do one of these voices. Like, like so, a sensei. Like a sensei. <laughs> or I can like- I can do something like this. That's a very scary yeah. villain. The deepest voice is like this, you know? Damn, what kind of character is that? You're a husky man, you know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> And I'm singing to you, baby. Ooh, I want to see that anime. <laughs> I'm feeling things I haven't felt since <laughs> I was 14. What do you do to prepare for an anime voice role? I watch the original Japanese, look at the wiki page of the character to see the backstory. Mm -hmm. And uh, I do a tongue twister beforehand. Like what? Uh, red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather. Red leather, yellow leather, red yellow leather, <laughs> leather. Red leather, yellow leather. How would your younger self react to finding out that you would grow up to voice anime? I would be amazed. I, I don't know if I would believe me. He would be super stoked. I have to remind myself every day that like, right, you know, <laughs> this, you are living your dream. I don't know, I, I feel like, you know, as a lot of voice actors, we, we never truly grow up. We love cartoons and anime and video games. We get to play for a living. How is anime voice acting different than other voice acting? Anime voice acting, of course, you're doing two picture. Uh -huh. So you have a TV kind of in front of you with the picture and you're actually doing it as you watch. So you don't get a chance to improvise. No way. Anime is very much, you know, you go line by line or what we call them loops. So basically what we'll do is if we have a line, we'll preview it first in, in the Japanese and then they give us these things called <clears throat> ADR Q beeps. So these uh -huh. three beeps that go beep, beep, beep. And then where the fourth beep would be, that's where you come in. So it could be beep, beep, beep. Why is that hot dog so much money? <laughs> <laughs> Do you watch the series that you voice as a fan or more to like see your own work? I love the shows that I'm in, yeah. but I do kind of keep rewinding to my part. <laughs> so I can see like if this sounded good. Cause when I first watch something I'm in and I hear yeah. myself, it sounds horrible to me. And I'm like, ooh, wait, mm, let me rewind. Everyone sounds good, but when I hear myself, I'm like, ooh, why yeah. does my voice sound louder than everyone else's? No, dude, I mean, I, I run into that too. Like whenever I'm part of an ensemble cast, like uh, YouTubers react. Oh, yes, no, 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 no. And I watch that, I'll see my parts, and I'll be like, why am I so horrible? <laughs> Is that artist I, mentality? Does it ever get in your head when you watch those clips hundreds of times and you're not pleased with yourself? Yes, because I'm like, I know I practiced and I uh, did the research beforehand, but why does it sound like this? What's the most uncomfortable thing about anime voice acting? Sometimes the strain can be something you gotta be careful of. I mean, this is our the money maker. What do you think the biggest misconception about anime voice acting is? that we don't watch the original Japanese. We're putting our soul into this character. We want to give justice to the, the source material. So I get like a lot of questions like, do you do acting too? <laughs> it's yeah. like, like, what do you think I'm doing? We get that a lot. Or do you do real acting too? Real acting. Yeah, we get Ooh, that a lot. How do you feel about that? It's, it's insulting, but it's, it's like they, they just don't know. They, yeah. It doesn't come from a place of meanness. Anime is great, but it doesn't always pay the best. Just with how the industry has been in the past 20 years, you know, we're we're trying to make changes, but compared to other even forms of voice acting, it's not the best financially, but you're you're burdened with a very specific skill set that you have to learn, which is mm -hmm. dubbing to picture yeah, and, yeah. and doing all those things. So, I mean, I know plenty of voice actors who've been doing this for 10, 20 years who are still, you know, renting apartments, living check to check. People um, assume that you're like, yeah. you're an entertainer, you're making exactly. so much cash. How do you feel about American live action remakes of anime like Death Note? Historically, they've been pretty poo. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Josh, you suck. harsh words. I don't think we're quite there yet. Detective Pikachu was cool, because I think, again, they took what was there and kind of ran it. was with definitely in the right idea. direction. I think so, yeah. So um, I'm excited to see what happens. Why do you think anime is more successful now than it ever has been before? With the internet, people were able to figure out like, hey, I like this too. Before people were talking all the time online, people yeah. that liked anime felt isolated. They thought, right. I like this weird thing that no one at my school likes. Lillian wants me to ask, why you think there are so many female actors that voice boys in anime? Hey, I'm Sarah Natashani and I play the voice of Ash Ketchum on Pokemon. Okay, so here's the thing. 
guys, we uh, when we go through puberty, our voices get deeper. And yeah. if you're going to be on anime for a long period of time, and you're a teenager or or you know a young adult, your voice will change. And for those male characters, uh, they need their voices to stay high pitch for a long time. And women who are excellent voice actors, like they have excellent range, their voices will stay higher forever. Yeah. I brought an anime character oh. who's established. Okay. And I wanted to hear how you would voice this character okay. if you were given some of the lines. Okay. Just fresh. Just cool. act like you don't know who this anime character is. Okay. Well, it was good while it lasted. We killed some boredom, didn't we? We did some various and interesting things. I am Sailor Moon, the champion of justice. In the name of the moon, I will right wrong and triumph over evil. And that means you! Pika! Pika Pika Pikachu! Yo! Pika Pika Pika! <laughs> Pikachu? Ryan Reynolds, you're casting Detective <laughs> Pikachu too. Yes! You should subscribe to Anthony Padilla or the world will meet its terrible fate. <laughs> You've got five seconds to shout out anything you want. Go for it. Hit me up on Twitter at said Williams Jr. And Instagram at Cedric L. Williams. And watch The Promise Neverland on Toonami. Find me on Twitter at at Ryan Bartley. Find me on Instagram at at E. Ryan Bartley. And on Facebook, I'm at after Ryan Bartley. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Griffin Puatu. That's P-U-A-T-U. Thank you so much, Cedric. <laughs> Thank you. You're great. Thank you. I feel like <laughs> I now understand the wondrous world of anime voice acting. Thank you for bringing me in today. After spending the day with these talented anime voice actors, I've come to understand they often receive no public praise for their hard work behind the scenes. In an industry where it's impossible to please everyone, these talented voice actors do everything in their power to bring their characters to life for the fans. Which is something I hope we can all learn to appreciate a little bit more. See you later, bye guys. Press the like now! You gotta be really intense. Oh right, so I'm really intense. You gotta sound a little nasally too. Gotta sound really nasally. You have to not pause when you say long lines like this, you know? There's no commas in anime. And you have to use big emotion like this and yell. I'm not pausing because I have a lot to say and I have a lot of pent up emotion and there's so much to say and I'm gonna yell it. Perfect.